Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me today as we spend these few moments with our Good Shepherd. Have you ever had squirrels in your attic? If you have, you know it sounds like a bunch of kids running around on your roof. They chase each other around, they knock each other down, they drop acorns down the, your walls during the middle of the night. They make such a racket. And on top of that, they gnaw on everything. And you can hear the sound of their chewing as you're trying to get to sleep. Until you close off that entry point, those little critters are going to keep getting into your attic and causing all sorts of destruction. Well, for the devil, an uncontrolled emotion is like an opening for a squirrel. He'll use that lack of self-control to crawl into your mind, and then he'll chase your other self-centered emotions around, making all sorts of noise and clatter that will bring unrest to your life. He will drop more temptations down your life that will disturb you, that will rob you of rest, and will cause you untold grief. Anger chases bitterness. Bitterness creates envy and unkindness, and the list can go on and on. He'll pile up more temptation after temptation, more struggle after more struggle. That's why self-control is listed as one of the fruits of the Spirit in Galatians chapter 5, uh, verses 22 and 23. The Holy Spirit is the one who can give us that fruit of self-control, of controlling those emotions. It's from Christ in that Spirit-given life. As we stay connected to Jesus, who held his emotions in check, who was able to show compassion when it was needed and strength when it was needed, who did not fly off the handle in anger, who did not allow bitterness to fill his heart, or even uh, uh, being upset with his disciples when they were so slow to understand. We have no reason to be afraid, no reason to, to lash out, no reason to hold on to bitterness, because self-control means we hold on to the cross of Jesus instead. We hold on to his power in our life instead of Satan's power. Self-control means we close up those openings for Satan to enter. He has to work that much harder to get into our life. So if you use self-control, the squirrels won't drive you nuts. We pray. Wonderful God, you know where I tend to go wrong in my life and how much better it would be for me if instead I go the right way. Empower me this day with self-control to make the decisions today that I still will enjoy tomorrow. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And may God give you that gift of self-control as you live this day and every day for him. Until next time, my friends.